everyone, how are you guys doing? It's me, Lisa, and today I have my empties. Yay, empties. Finally can get them out. It's two months worth of empties. It's July and August. And I did it two months this time because I was sick in July and I really didn't have too many products. And I, I was sick too, so it might as well, by the time it rolled over into August anyways, it it was going to be two months anyways. So I did two months. So um, I got a new box. It's not that bag anymore. And it's already filthy from my kids. Oh yeah, 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 I swear. They like to destroy things. And knock things over and get things all over the place. Um, let's see. <laughs> Toss some paparazzi bags in here that I got from Lynn and um, Lainey. Let's see, what do I want to talk about first? I'll pull these out, these candles. No. We'll talk about these. I have a few of these in here, two of them. I've been buying the, I don't normally put laundry stuff in there, but these yes. are the fabric softeners, odor defense ones, different ones. And these ones both smell amazing. Logan's been helping me pick out different ones. And let's try this one. And we've been trying a different one because Target has um, usually a thing on Cartwheel and then they have buy three get ten dollars uh, back on a gift card so I might as well and I went to Walmart and it's still cheaper at Target for some reason just that way um, and they're the bigger bottles and I believe they're $9.99 each for $7.99 and at Walmart for the smaller bottles it's $10 or $11.99 so good deal both of these smell really yummy both the Dawn and the Ga Again, um, they have different scents, but they smell really good and they last a while. Uh, just thought I'd talk about those for a minute. Um, then I have this, a few of these. Okay, I have two different ones. One is a linen one and one is Glade. Linen I like to use in my laundry room because it's linen and it's fresher smell. And I have also the cat litter in there too, so it helps keep it helps keep it fresher and then I have Glade which I like to use in my living room um, versus spray this one smell okay it was a berry one not my best this best scent but I also added these in here you normally I don't add these in is that I have two brands here one's Glade and one's the up and up brand this one didn't last as long as the Glade this lasted half a month and I used it the same have it on the same speed cycle this one lasted actually longer and this one didn't it, it, it was like wow surprising usually it's the same amount or something this one didn't only half a month this one lasts um more than half a month this is 60 days but it never lasts 60 days it lasted 35 40 around there a month and a half pretty much and this one only lasted like two weeks horrible horrible but yeah got that put those in there I have a few candles I've been trying to light candles often to get them finished so I can get my October since this one was a vanilla it was okay well no I don't think it was vanilla it's something it, there's a perfumey scent it was a white candle um it doesn't have the scent on it it was okay. I didn't really put off that much smell. And this one is a fragrance one. Um, I don't. I don't remember the name. It was a pink one. It was all right. It didn't do too much of a scent either. Usually Glade is really good at it. This one isn't for some reason. For some reason, I I wasn't impressed with them. Um, usually I am. Weird, right? Um, then, and then I have this one. This one was a um, the Angel Whisk one, I think. This one smells really good. This one worked a lot better as well. Um, it was the lighter pink one, Angel Whisk. Um, that one didn't uh, didn't disappoint me. And then I have quite a smells. Hold on, let me pull them all out. one in a giveaway it was just a little one it smells amazing in the jar but um it's based off a book from um 
Crystal Sassini, I believe. I haven't read the book yet, but I want to read it. Um, I haven't, but I need to read it. Um, it was cute. There's glitter and stuff. It smelled amazing in the jar, but it didn't release a lot of scent to it, if that makes sense. Um, a little disappointed in that, because it had, it smelled great, and it just didn't do that for me. Um, next is this one by, these ones I'm showing you, they're by, by, they are by Zany Laney. They are no longer selling wax, but I have wax from them that they used to sell that I'm using them. Um, this one is so fresh, so green. They actually have all these in body sprays as well, and I have this one in a body spray too, it smells really good. It has, it's a citrusy scent. Um, it was based off of their advent calendar in December. This was really yummy. Um, and it smells amazing as a body spray. This one lasts pretty well in the house. Um, next is Seeing Isn't Always Believing. Um, this one has a cherry scent. Um, it's really yummy. I don't have the scent notes for, on it for me. But it was really good. And it was also part of their advent calendar as well. This was based off of one of their... Um, Part of the geeks and beauty community and uh, she did reviewing as well she created this scent her name was uh, Cassandra Morgan and um, it's a really yummy scent I love it this one fancy Christmas star I have this in right now right yeah it's a Christmas one I should have waited to use it but I don't know I've been popping them in like crazy this one smells really good really Christmassy really spicy spice it's just Christmas scents. I love Christmas and fall scents, and that's usually what I tend to gravitate towards besides my fruity scents, and uh, yeah, it's really yummy. This one, To Me You Are Perfect, is off of their advent calendar as well, and this one's minty. It smells minty and refreshing. I really like this one. This one lasted pretty well. Usually I don't have too many issues with uh, their sprays. I mean, not their sprays, but their... Uh, Wax melt. This one is the only one I had a little issue with is Doppelganger. It isn't as strong. I have it in a body spray and that one is amazing. It lasts forever and it's good as a room spray as well. This one, um, I can't smell it too much in the wax melt, but sometimes it's hard because I have different scents going on throughout the house. I put this one in my kitchen and it's only the little sample one because I have the little mini one, and but it smells yummy. I believe it has sunscreen in it and um, sun suntan lotion and something else. It's a really yummy scent. Um, next I have is these hand soaps. Let me find them all. There's this one, Bath and Body Works Bourbon Apple. This one smells really, really yummy. And I just seen it. Where oh, there it is. Um, Georgia peach. This one smelled really yummy too. Two different ones. This one is a nourishing one. Oh, this one also has pumpkin butter in it. And this one's peach. They smell really good. I really like them. I also repurchased them again. Um, not these ones, but different scents for the fall. Um, I repurchase quite often through um, once a year, twice a year through uh, Bath and Body Works. Uh, then I have this is a dog shampoo. It worked pretty well. Um, I use it on Mia and I also use it on... Did I use this one on my cats? I used it a little bit on my cats. And they worked pretty well. It's okay. Um, I also used it on my Gus Gus. It was his last bath that he had before we had to put him down. Um, it's aloe scent. Eh, it was alright. Um, I have this shampoo for the kids. Green apple smells yummy. I usually buy Suave. It's cheap and it's multi-purpose for hair and body. So it works. It works. And then this one, okay. Bat Bubbles, Mr. Bubbles. I always buy that. That's a rebuying thing. Um, this foaming volume shirt. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's from Pantene. This is a sample, one of the samples I received. Um, it's not that bad. Um, it's kind of weird because it's foamy and you don't think it works, but after you let it sit and then rinse off and then dry your hair, your hair is actually pretty smooth. So that was impressive. Um, any more hair products in here? Oh, I have another hand soap. I went through uh, quite a bit. 
because I was sick with the bacteria infection. So I was washing my hands repeatedly so my kids didn't get sick as well. Um, I was in and out of the bathroom constantly. Um, this one's the coconut lime. It was really yummy. And I buy this one. It has the deep cleansing. It has the beads in it because my husband is a mechanic and my boy's hands get really dirty. And this kind of does a little bit more scrubbing to it. Um, this Garnet Fertis. It's okay. It's not. I used to buy this one as younger. It's not as great as what I remembered. Not as great. This is a deodorant Dove. I don't really like um, spray deodorants, but this one was really good. I liked it in the last while. It wasn't sticky. It didn't leave me clumpy or anything. And it's actually a really good deodorant. Um, Degree is a normal one. I usually get, I like Degree. Went through two deodorants in two months. <laughs> so, um, summertime, so I use quite a bit. And plus, I take showers multiple showers after workout I work out after um, work sometimes or before work so I shovel different times sometimes twice a day depending on what's going on because it's summer it's hot it's all sorry the lights going off I finally got my mirror to work with the light but yeah that's what I use um, these wipes I have it in a bag um, bliss I like these wipes until they dried out they dried out really fast um, but before they dried out, it was actually a really good wipe. It was a really good wipe. I think I got those at Target. Um, save those for last. Uh, body wash. Coconut and fig. It was pretty good body wash. Nothing special about it. This is a Walmart brand. Uh, I have this one. It is the... Um, shampoo well blends I don't mind those ones this one's the honey one I'm I actually pretty much like those um, all of them that I've tried I I've enjoyed um, yeah that one's it was actually a pretty good one uh, okay toothbrush this one these things drive me nuts because once the battery's dead the kids don't want to use it anymore they uh, dry it they stop pretty fast so I don't have to replace it within a month um, but this one Juan didn't care for because it he didn't like it the buzzing the movement of it it really irritated him I also have toothpaste this is Sensodyne by that one I also had a coupon so I bought quite a few of those we go through quite a bit of toothpaste in a month or so, so here's another Sensodyne so that's two um, I don't know what you're based in here. This one, I let my son use this one because he didn't mind it because there's no flavor to it really. But I don't like it. I don't like the Hello brand. I've tried the other one that they have. This one is a soothing mint. The other one was something else. And I didn't care for it. I did not care for it. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, face mask. This one, I had it in a panning. Uh, I actually got to use it. It's a foliating one. I liked it. It smelled really good and it didn't break me out. Um, put it on, rinse it off. It's a by Nug. Uh, I have another one in here somewhere. Uh, Origins. I have this in a panning too. It's a, um, overnight mask. It was really thick. They said that you can also wipe some of it off which I did because this whole thing you put on you could use it for more than one use but I put it all on because they said to do that it's actually a lot um, I end up wiping most of it off and it still left my face pretty good nice in the morning um, let's see what else do I have this one special collagen mask I like this one this one was a pretty good mask um, or is this the one I didn't like No, this is one I like. I like that one. Uh, skin eye gel firming. It was pretty good. It was kind of weird because the uh, they're thick and it still had like the on the outside it had um, it was fuzzy type deal. Um, I don't know what to call it. It had an 
another thing. It wasn't just jelly. It had uh, like cloth on the other side. Next is a Sue AE Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask. This is okay. This I could have used quite a few times, but since I got sick, I wasn't using it as much. Um, but it was, it was surprisingly good. I was kind of iffy about it. Sometimes sleep masks, they break me out. But since I've been changing my diet and drinking more water and eating healthier, I haven't had a, that many problems with breakoutage after moisturizing. Yeah, oh, this is the one I didn't like. Um, Super Aqua Cell Renewal Gel Hydrating Mask. Um, this one's kind of annoying to apply on because it was in two pieces, half and half. I don't like those too much because it just, it, it's a little messier. Um, this eye mask, I'm dropping all my stuff. Little pet patches, it was okay. They weren't all that. Um, came with quite a bit of serum but it dried pretty fast. Holy Moly is a really good brand for masks. This one's a foot mask. I tried it, um, it didn't do anything. Nothing at all. Sometimes people say that, oh, it will get better. It works afterwards and stuff. It keeps working. No, not really, but I have really bad feet. I get callous real easily. My feet get really torn up easily. Um, I, I don't know. It didn't work too well. I have more face masks. I have this Origins. Uh, uh, don't get this in your eyes because it burns in, in your nostrils. If you get around your nostrils, don't put it in. Other than that, it's a good mask. It has um, little beads in it. It's a der uh, dermabrasion mask. Um, and it has a strong um, garden scent, I guess. Leafy, natural plant scent, which it was a little irritating with my nose, but it works pretty well. Didn't dry out my face, didn't have any issues. This cleansing mouth, it's okay. Um, it was the creamy texture ones. Uh, it's for normal to dry skin, but I'm not normal dry skin. I am oily to combination. So, um, not too, too great for my mouth. Next, I have is this Origins uh, Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I like Origins um, Moisturizer. I like a lot of their products. I, I want to repurchase it again. Um, I have used it before as well. Um, what? What? The baby's fine. The baby's sleeping. Um, yeah, kitty's fine. And this Allergenist uh, a chronic acid advanced it's a serum it was okay it wasn't all that but it's only a sample sometimes it's hard to determine from a sample sometimes it is uh, next I have is this one this was all right um, I didn't care for it too Morata had um, vitamin C and SPS 30 I, I didn't care for it maybe it was old or something it didn't go well with my skin at all I have a bath bomb. This one I got from Dawn from a the Spring Swap. Um, I didn't use it. My kids used it, but it smelled really good, and they enjoy. They take up all my bath bombs because I don't get to use them. Um, it smelled really yummy. It, I think it was like a raspberry scent or something. Get my sock out of here. Mm -mm. I have this. I got this one from Rooted Earth Farm. I've had it for a few years, but it's because I kept forgetting to use it. But it's a really good toner. It has. Um, what does it have in it? Where is it at? Witch Hazel Aloe uh, Yarrow Candula and Essential Oil Blends. This was really great. I did wear it before night and it did help with acne. Um, it had that Witch Hazel scent to it, but if you don't mind that, then that's okay. Um, I got this one from a giveaway with um, Megan Hilt. Um, she likes using um, help uh, supporting Etsy um, companies and she did one with this one. It was a really great product. Um, Alright, this one, Wet n Wild um, Concealer. I don't like these. I don't. Um, let me see if I can open it real quick. It's spongy. Nasty. And I just kind of picture the, all the bacteria forming into it. And I had the 
color correcting one. I don't know if that's in here too. Or maybe it was a few months back. That one was just as bad. I don't care for that that too much. I can just picture the bacteria. Just picture it. I went through two foundations. I finished them. Wet and Wild. This one actually wasn't too bad. It actually matches my skin tone pretty well. It's soft ivory. It just went by really fast. I don't think there was there was a lot of product in it. Um, I, this one has more product than this one. This one's tart. I've had it for a few years already. I wanted to use it up. It's in color... What color are you? Uh, it doesn't have the color. So I don't even know what color it is um, to repurchase it. At first I was iffy because I was trying, when I first got it, I was trying high-end makeup foundations and I wasn't iffy. But after trying different ones, this one was actually a really good foundation. It was the Amazon Clay. It has SPF 15. It's a broad spectrum. It is a full coverage foundation. So if you don't like full coverage, then that's not up your alley. But overall, it was a pretty good foundation. Um, I have mascara in here. These two, this Eye Echo and Tarte. Um, there's still stuff in it. I don't care for either one of these. This one was like a brown. They didn't really do anything to help my eyelashes at all. Um, this one was better than this one though. And I put them both on. This one was, is waterproof. Or, I think they say tear proof or something. Sweat proof, whatever, same thing. Um, I put them both on at once. And it seemed to work better that way, but... This one was by far better, but I like others better than that one. Um, this one, Bleach Blonde, it's Sea Waves, it's uh, Sea Salt Spray, it's alright, not bad. I don't use Sea Salt too much because my hair is all is a mess. Anyways, I gotta get it cut again and re-dyed, um, get more color back into it. Um, this Verb Oil. It's really good. I put on my hair, my son's hair. I like burb. Um, have no issues with burb. Um, hand lotions. I have a few hand lotions in here. Yeah. Okay. These I use in my purse, and I go through quite a bit. I liked um, Delectable, and I like this EOS. EOS is a one my friend got for me. For my birthday there's it came in a pack of three this one is a cucumber melon one really yummy really good I like EOS um, this one's really good this one I got in a Target Beauty box it's the righteous butter faded glory it has a perfumey scent and it's a really yummy scent and I like the combination of it on my skin chemistry skin tone not skin tone but my body chemistry really yummy this I won't ever use again I need to stop using tanning crap because I mess it up. I don't know what the heck I did. I followed the directions. I did it as it asked and it still left me patchy orange and really orange and patchy and I need to learn my list. I keep trying different ones saying okay I got it. I'll give it a shot. It might work for me. It might look actually decent. No. No. And I tried it four times. Four times and it just <laughs> Um, oh, another mascara. This one, Monsieur Big. It's the from Ulta. I don't remember which one. It, Lancome. There we go. I didn't care for it. There was a big hype on it. I did not care for it. No, oh, chapstick. Um, Birch Bees Mint Cola. I, um, Cola. Coca-Cola. Coco. Um, I like this one. It was, I got for Christmas, around Christmas time because it's more like a crispy, a Christmassy scent because the mint. I really like that one. This one I had in a panning buxom. I like buxom, but I didn't like this. It, I think it's a lip plumper with it because it was tingly and it, it was a pretty color. I just don't like gloss too much. It was, I make a mess out of gloss. Like this one's kind of glossy and I, I make mess. A mess out of it. A mess, a mess, a mess. Oh, this is for face two. It's, um, Perfecting Shill Broad Spectrum is kind of thick jelly. Eh, it was okay. It was okay. Um, Tarte Eye Cream. 
It's a sea brighter eye treatment. It was alright. Not the greatest cream. I like the origin a lot. That one was okay. It was okay. I have this eyeshadow in here. Um, notice it's not done, but I lost the lid for one and two. It before that it's just dry and it's hard and I had to toss it, so it's panned. <laughs> um, I have this Laura Mercier powder. Um, I love this. I want to buy the full size powder of it. It's the translucent one. Um, it has the one with a little bit of tint to it. I really like that one. I really do. I have two eyeshadow palettes in here. This one's old. I'm going to toss it. It's already kind of... I got my eye on. I don't wear it. And then this one... I don't wear it either. Colors fall out. I got this, I think, in a Fed Fit Fun Box a long time ago. Um, the colors aren't that pretty. They don't blend well with my skin. And just... Bye-bye. Band-Aids. I buy the little character ones for my kids. Uh, probiotic gummies. I need probiotics because I've had bacteria infections. I've had all kinds of stuff goes with my stomach. Hi, bubs. All kinds of stuff goes with my stomach. So, um, probiotics helps me out a lot. More band-aids. I got five new email. Um, Nair strips. I got these from, uh, Walmart Beauty Box. I used it for my upper lip. It works really well. Surprising because usually those things don't work for me. No. Oh. I have a sample foundation. I actually have this, but not in this color. Um, it's okay. I'm sorry, not the greatest. Floss. Sharpie pins. We use Sharpies like crazy. Nail filer. I finished this one. It just got worn out. Um, I have this one. It's a blush. I finished blush because it broke, but I also used it quite a bit. It was a hard candy blush and pinup. I like this blush. It could use it as a highlight as well. And then I have, I'll try to find pictures for these stickers from uh, Bottled Honey Designs. They're different ones. Um, like this one has holidays and stuff. Um, I still have some because I forgot to put them up. It has Lint, Groundhog Day, Passover. Um, those, these are like stuff you can do same way with these ones. This was July's, like watermelon days on one day, um, food items, they have like shark day and stuff like that. It was fun. I like doing it because sometimes it helps me plan my dinner because one time it's spaghetti, one time it was macaroni and cheese, different stuff. It actually helps. Same thing. And this one was for my book review, my books. Um, it's cute. I'll see if I can find a picture of it, post it up. And I put down the books I am reading for that week. And I, since I'm in a book club, I'm in book hoarders. So this, it helps out. Yeah, and last I have gum in here. I buy Orbit because the gum helps me stay awake because the minty. So that is my empties. It's a lot of empties. Hopefully I can edit it down right now. It's like 30 minutes. Hopefully it can be edited down because that's a long time. Be talking about empties. If you have any questions, anything I want to know about it, um, more opinion on it, I try to go through really fast on this because it's a lot of empties, a lot of stuff, a lot of information, a lot of things I tried, what I liked, didn't like. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.